Hello, today I'm going to be talking about this little device. So this is a 3D printed part that I'll be giving away for free for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano. I actually talked about something similar for this for the Electric Eel Wheel 6 already, but that's not shipping yet and a lot of people were really interested in this, so I've now made an improved version for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano. So this is a, a quill. So the basic concept is with a spinning wheel, just by virtue of how they're designed, you spin yarn onto a bobbin, and while you're spinning onto the bobbin, it uh, applies the twist to your fiber and puts it on the bobbin sort of at the same time. Before this mechanism existed uh, for spinning wheels, they used something more like this. So this is a quill. So this is the same principle that uh, a drop spindle works on. Basically, we're taking a drop spindle and sticking it to the front of the electric eel wheel nano. And what this means is that you're not going to be able to apply the twist and uptake sort of at the same time, at least not unless you're really good at using one of these. Uh, so the way you'll, you'll see, I'll, I'll spin with it. And I'm not very good at spinning with these quills yet, but um, you'll sort of see how a beginner using a quill will spin. And basically it will be that I'll apply the twist to my fiber and then I'll uh, spin it onto the spindle and that's sort of two distinct steps instead of just everything happening in one pass. And there's certain kinds of fiber that need a lot of twist that some people prefer a spindle. I, I really like the spinning wheel for everything but it's a fun thing to try and because I'm giving away the files for free it's something that really doesn't cost you anything. You can often have these 3D printed at your local library or there's a lot of places online that will 3D print things if you don't have your own 3D printer. So getting one of these um, isn't that difficult to do. And I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, video description uh, showing you uh, to a, a page on my site where I explain the different options on, on how you can get this 3D printed. There's uh, several small uh, companies that have sort of formed around uh, the electric eel wheel and specialize in printing parts for the electric eel wheel or other fiber tools. So it's pretty cool and pretty easy to get these. But I'll now show you how the quill works. Okay, the first thing I'll mention is that there's a little bit of tape that I added to this. I found that uh, getting the fit exactly right on my 3D printer is a little difficult. So actually making it slightly too small and then adding a few wraps of just clear plastic tape here was a way that made it really easy for me to get the fit sort of perfect. So now it, it goes in and it fits well. Now uh, if I turn this on, you'll see there's a little bit of wobble and that's because this shaft didn't 3D print straight. I've still working on this file. I actually plan on making another revision before I put it on Thingiverse with this video but it was a convenient time for me to shoot the video. So I'm sort of shooting this with a non-final version. I'm hoping to make a version that won't have this wobble, although it works fine with the wobble and uh, the tip's a little um, not formed and that's because I printed it uh, in my house, which is really hot right now and the uh, type of plastic, which is PLA, didn't like fully melt. Uh, but I think I'll make the tip not quite as sharp and then that shouldn't be a problem even if you're printing in really hot environments like I was. Uh, okay, so that's basically how it works. And so I'm just using the speed control on the Nano to make it spin. And all you need is to take a piece of lead yarn, tie it on, and then um, you sort of get it started. And now again, I'm not showing you all of the best techniques for uh, spinning on a quill. There's definitely people who are much more experienced, but what I'm showing you is basically how to get started. And this is another thing where it's just like uh, spinning on the electric eel wheel. It takes a lot of practice and I am definitely not um, an experienced quill spinner. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to start drafting some fiber onto here. And um, if you sort of, the way you um, get this started, remember, is you want to apply twist to the yarn. And if it's sort of popping off the end, you're applying twist. And then if you, oops, 
then if you just sort of wrap it around the end, then you're putting it onto the spindle. So those are sort of the two movements we're going to be um, doing today. So I'm just going to um, apply some twist. And you do tend to do a bit longer drafting with this because you need to get it smoothed out and I kind of got a blob there. But um, when you're happy with the amount of twist, you, I, I tend to like, um, I tend to stop it just because I'm not very experienced and then I spin it onto the spindle here and then um, you can either continue spinning off the tip or you can sort of pre-draft like I'm doing here. And now I'm just back to applying twist. And once I'm sort of happy with the uh, twist in this yarn, and you can go much faster, I mean, after you've got experience. Uh, and then you spin it on and again, I'm just pre-drafting because uh, I've just started doing this uh, type of spinning and I don't have much experience. But uh, again, you just kind of apply the twist. And then the second stage is to wrap it onto the spindle. And that's pretty much all there is to using the spindle. So uh, I will put a link to where you can get the 3D printed files for this spindle, which will work with the electric eel wheel nano. And um, definitely leave some feedback, especially if you print it and try it out, because I do feel that there's probably some ways to improve it yet. And uh, it'll be really helpful if uh, people uh, try it out and, and give me feedback on how they think I could improve this quill. Thanks for watching.